Hi everybody! This is welcome to a brand new Let's Play of a game called Primordia. It's a point-and-click adventure game that was developed on the AGS, the Adventure Game System. And so that's just a that's a developmental toolkit that comes with lots of handy features to quickly and easily make adventure games. And then this one was ported to Steam, so the whole world can enjoy. Now I I own I watched the trailer, so I don't really know what it's about. And that's an adventure we get to go on together. So let's go! Bam! Do, 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 do. All I really know is that it's a post-apocalyptic cyberpunk game. It's a very dirty punk game. We are in a wasteland. There's a scary probe droid there. He looks like a refrigerator. It's almost there. Wow, that guy's super ballin'. He One looks amazing. Thing. What's he setting? He's got a tiny robot buddy. Oh, am and I controlling? One more piece of the unique is operational. Of one the down, unique. One million to go. Speaking of which, boss, I Yay. found exactly none of the parts you wanted. I know that guy's Dave voice. Junk pile, and all I turn up are a locker and some stupid conduits. Maybe next time, uh, boss. Are you sure? Uh, probably the apocalypse right? comes. I don't even know. Check out that awesome chair. That's amazing. Engineering. Let's go. Engineer. So what is so? I don't. I don't, I don't really understand where what what is happening. But I knew it's an adventure game, so it's not times. So I can just chill out. Now the little robot head's voice, whose name is apparently Crispin. Yeah, he's a regular voice actor for adventure games. He was in the I can't remember the name right now, no but I will next that. episode. Oh well. There's no time for that. Okay, so no time for that. that's the game subtly suggesting that I get out of here. So let's go down this hatch. Um, boop, 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 we console. need to get to engineering. Uh, I'll just go through all these linear doors. You'll notice that the game is a little bit blocky. That's because I'm using the normal filtering setting. There is an anti-aliasing setting that makes it smoother, but it kind of looks uh, no fuzzy when I try to set it to that. So this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Is this engineering? Can I go now? Yeah. Someone going. Little robot, buddy. Uh, boss. Oh, we are under attack. No, it's the probe droid fridge. Who are you and what do you want? Power. Oh, come on. He's here I to steal my power source. Power core, boss. Stop right there. Oh, I don't know. Wait, but wait, this is an adventure game. To me. <laughs> <laughs> Wha Whoa! That escalated quickly. Private property. <laughs> Get away from the power core. Well, okay, so I need to check. He's gonna kill me. He just killed me. Well, I guess we're done. Thank you very much for tuning into Primordia. Jeez. <laughs> okay, so check out this amazing cutscene. This SMV goodness. FMV goodness. And there goes the droid, so we are now powerless in the middle of the post-apocalypse desert. Alright. Oh, I'm not dead. Boss? Boss? Why am I out? Horatio? Come on, Horatio, wake up! That's an amazing name. Yay, Horatio. <sighs> Alas, poor York. I knew him. Ooh, All right. you're okay. What happened? Okay, right, come on. Well, they cool stuff. threw you out of the ship. Okay, and why? Then he said, Plunder, oh yeah, he stole the again. ship. And then he left with our power core. Wait. Basad. Yep. How much charge have you got? Ten percent. You? I'll be fine. We just need to get the emergency generator mm. up and running. I told you it needed to be repaired. Or we could just go to Metropole, city of glass. Oh, of and course, light. our Free robot buddy wants to go off partying in the big city. Here. Metropole, Metropole is trouble. trouble. Big city is trouble. Go. You've got free will in a maglev unit. <laughs> you just told him you got a pair of legs, you scoot. <laughs> Actually, with a 10% charge, you wouldn't even get that far. So I suggest we get the generator working. So, we're all robots. That's cool. Man built us to build, Crispin. Now, come on. Aww. Some... Oh, what's that? Is that my hint? I think it's my hint. Yeah, as long as we save the game quickly here. But doop, but doop, but doop, but doop. Alas, poor power core. 
Alright, what's a tail I wing? That up. I guess it's the wing of a tail. <laughs> it's something I cannot pick up. What can I pick up? I must have dropped the data pouch when I was thrown out of the Unique. What's the Unique? Is that your ship? That's kind of frustrating. Ooh! Its memory got wiped. Oh, wait. Easy enough to have the good old junk pile's coordinates back in, though. Okay, I'm trying to figure out whether that word basad is actually like a computer thing. A computer thing for something, but I can't think of anything right now. Oh, is that it's... a gumball machine? No, it's a robot's head. Ah, uh, I wanted a gumball. Yeah, that's the same guy. He's, he plays like the ghost sidekick in the Blackwell saga. I can't move Blackwell this Legacy, kind of something. Crane, which I certainly don't have time to build now. Now, this whole thing about the building, they did, so they do Nothing drop... Salvaging. They basically name dropped that humans have been around and built these robots in the first place. They are the progenitors. But it also hints that our whole job is to collect Same things and put them together. Electrical conduit. Okay. I didn't hear what he said. It was all technical with Babel. Can I pick I up some grease? Just scoop it up. No, you can't just scoop it up. And I've got There's supposed to be a power bearing. Here's my puzzle. This socket and the ship, but I never got around to putting one together. Now who's the procrastinator? Go, you know what, the guys, that was exciting for exactly two minutes, and now I'm really sick of Crispin right now. Crispin, when I told you to find a new spark plug, did you just shove my conductive putty into the old one? Uh, maybe. No wonder the generator isn't working. Okay. At least the putty's still good. Oh, hey, I got something. The so that's where a spark, spark plug, plug goes. I need a conduit, which I already have. Where's the thing that requires grease? Maybe that's a different puzzle. It's not going to do anything until the generator's fixed. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just flip random switches. I had to try, man. Sturdy cable. Yay, and I'll just put that in my pocket. No, wait, I can, um, where's my items? Items? System user Horatio no Horatio no builds. Just registered to me. Huh. That's some sort of pun, I think. No, nobody built in? I don't know. So, there's a map, which allows us to quickly teleport. I don't know what else that does. Where's my inventory? There it is. Let's grab that con I gotta go back to the thing. Shove a conduit in there so I can so I can conduct things. Um there we go. I'll need at least five pieces to be able to build a uh, conduit long enough to run the generator to the unique. This is a puzzle game, I forgot. No, I can't can't leave into the horrifying apocalypse desert. So let's loot our house. Here's another conduit Gordium piece. Conduit. Gordium, whatever that is. And there's a lamp there. There's no way I can reach that. Yeah, you can just jump. Jump. There's no way I can reach that. Jump up, jump higher. Uh knock it over with a cable. Futile. Or it could be futile. Not futile. We are not a system of rule over the peasants. Here's this my no bitching chair. I just want to sit down in that chair. It's amazing. Strange clouds. I can check out the clouds. Bubbles? It's probably acid rain or something like that. What's the telescope do? Without power from the ship, the telescope. Oh, yeah, right. timing with those repairs, huh, boss? Only a little sliver left before the moon wanes entirely. Well, I'm glad we're not the only ones running out of power. Yeah, Kristen's Crispin's really starting to annoy me. I should double check who writes the dialogue. It might be from the same people. Anyway, where's the hatch? The hatch is unresponsive. Wait, so do I have to go out into the into the doom waste? Or maybe there's an item I can use to knock that down. Um, let's go back. I uh, can't move this huh. without some kind of crane. All right, whatever. Nothing worth. So, there's nothing worth salvaging. Can I press tab to reveal things? No. I could ask Crispin for help, but he'll probably poke fun at me. Um, oh, what, uh, what's that? What's that? It's a hose. I've tried patching this a dozen different ways without success. Throw the putty at it. Let's just jam putty in there. As much as I'd love to fix that leak someday, we have plus it would be a waste of the putty. So, apparently the putty is important. Okay. So, um, how do I get more conduit pieces? I need three conduit pieces, and I need... Screw it, we'll talk to Crispin. I can't use myself until... <laughs> Next time I tell you to fix the emergency generator, maybe you'll listen to me. 
Next time I tell you that I can't fix the emergency generator without arms, maybe you'll listen to me. Fair enough. He, okay. Use Crispin on the hose, gentlemen. No, boss. There. If I had an arm, I'd have fingers, and if I had fingers, I could stick one in this leak and plug it. What, what do you? And ruin my brand new arm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving the voice actor for our main character, Horatio. I'm not super in love with... Oh wait, there's an exit. Did I not take that already? Yeah, it goes to the roof. Oh, it's a ceiling hatch! It's too dark to see the ladder runs. Okay, so... Alright. A plan is forming. An old captain's chair. I moved it here from navigation. This is no time for sitting around. I need you to move this chair. I need you to move the chair somehow. Maybe... Futile. No. How would that even work? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just clicking on things. Let's, let's let's cable the moon, guys. <laughs> let's cable the moon. I doubt that will let's cable in a cloud. Just hook it up behind us like the tow chain of God. Anyway. So I need to get this lantern. There's no way. I Maybe mean, I can use Crispin on it. Crispin, knock the sucker down. Could you grab that lantern? Sure thing, boss. Come on. Boop. A victory! So Crispin's an you know, item. I always wanted to be able to fly. That's why I built you with a maglev unit. Not so that you could store tools on hard to reach <laughs> ledges. Well, that too. All right, so that's one problem solved. I can use this to progress. Excellent. That's a do 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 do. Grab the lantern. <laughs> use it. You have to use it on the hatch again in the next area. What are all these buttons? Oh. Good thing there's still some power in the circuit. Uh, boss, shouldn't you have thought of that That's not how circuits coming work. down here? We could have been stuck. I could have just ridden you back to the deck. Really? No. Routing <laughs> that much power to your maglev unit would cause it to explode. Yeah, right. Sorry. I couldn't find a working fuse to solve the problem. I'm a floating bomb. Oh, I hope that's foreshadowing. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so pressing that button is not what I needed to do. Check out the because gospel. To bring the gospel of man with us. Going to pray oh, that's for a interesting. Miracle, boss. We are man's miracle, Crispin. Let's hope that's enough. So now I have a gospel, which I don't know. Can I read it? I can right click on it. Yeah, oh, it's a whole book. I'm gonna have to dedicate some time to actually reading this. That'll be an episode of all its own. Um, can you use the bed? I can't pick that up. Use the sheet metal. Sheet metal is useless to me. Can I go through this hatch? The controls for this hatch are unresponsive. Nope. So, well, I can use the bed. So that's where you keep it. Why were you looking for my plasma torch? No reason. So I hid a torch underneath the bed. Okay, so I can use that to something something. I'm trying to fix the unique, <laughs> not destroy it. So apparently the Unique is the name of the ship, but I'm really hating that pronunciation. Then again, Unique would not be a lot better. <laughs> I don't need to bring these with me. After all, boss, life is stranger than fiction. Alright, so, I got the torch. I'm sure I can use that to do something outdoors. But that is something that we will not do in this episode. Well, I will just head back downstairs to where all the cool things are. And I will tune out for now, and I will check out for now, but I will be seeing you later on the eunuch piloted by the Horatio, who is who worships man. That's like I'm 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 really starting to have fun here, actually. And I hope you are too. If you're ever wondering what I would do, feel free to just ask. Screw you, Chris. Done with you. Alright, thank you very much for tuning in. This is let's play Primordia. My name is Ortinsky, and I hope you are enjoying the video. Bye bye!